your lovely pants than Clement. Yeah. Oh, so Do you know, I know we've, we've all seen those clips a thousand times, but it still takes you back. Yes. It takes you um, back. Yes. Was that a lot of fun? Oh, it was great. Doing that scenes like that. Absolutely great, yes. Mm. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss it? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I suppose I do. I don't, I don't miss the routine, yeah. I have to say, but I miss everybody and I miss the programme. Yeah. Mm. How long's it been now since you... <clears throat> Golly, six, seven years. Well, how are you, though? Because you've had a bit of a tricky year. Oh, speak to me about it. A, a year from hell. I did my usual trip earlier, and I did some filming, then I did my usual trip to Australia, because I think you remember probably I, <clears throat> I go there for a couple of months every year. And, oh, idiot that I am, I planned my knee replacement for after I came back. Yep. So I was out, and it was the tail end of a typhoon, and I was messing about with seven-year-old and um, and I fell oh. cut my leg open oh it was disgusting it really was and would you n believe it the one part of my fat body that hasn't got any flesh on it <laughs> is my shin bone oh. and it was straight across the shin bone oh. and so I came home uh, and I went to the hospital there obviously I came when I came home saw the surgeon, he said, I can't do anything with that because of cross-infection. Although it's not the same leg, it's cross-infection. That's, oh, that's so deadly dangerous, yes. Um, so he said, we'll just have to wait and see how quickly it, it heals. And I've had to cancel three times. Your knee operation. Yeah. So what's happened is if I've had something offered, I've said, yes, I can do it that date because I'm having the op there, so that'll give me time to get over... Ah, no, I've had to cancel it again. Oh. So things I could have done before I could have done, uh, oh, it's, it's been absolutely... So have you decided hell. to sort of just, <clears throat> all right, let's just say I'm taking this yeah. year off? That's exactly what I've done. Mm. I've, I've just said this year is a no-no virtually. Um, and Pam, have you been in pain with it? Like, is it painful on a day-to-day -day basis? Yes. And, and how do you deal with that? Well, I deal with it by using allopathic medicine mm -hmm. and alternative medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and the allopathic is, I, I've, I mean, into my knee rather than the wound, um, I've, I've had three steroid jabs right. so far, which have been very helpful. I couldn't have got back on the aeroplane had I not. Yeah. I couldn't have done that journey mm. uh, without. And the very nice Australian doctor who did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was a sweetheart. <laughs> um, did you, you um, did, do you take CBD oil? Yes, I do, yeah. yes. That's my... my... Yeah, because you did that whole documentary, didn't you? I did, the, I did the, indeed. The benefits of it. Yeah, yes. I've been relying on that quite a bit. Yeah. And, in fact, um, I couldn't use it in Australia because I was told that in Australia they'd passed it, that it was legally mm. OK. Mm. I couldn't find anybody who knew about this. Right. And maybe in Sydney, but I couldn't find anybody where I was. So I had to rely on painkillers. Mm. When I came over here and I had my own CBD, I started taking that, and I've been able to gradually ease off the painkillers mm. and put the CBD in its place. Mm. So that has been very... Mm. It's got me through, because I'm... Well, do you know, yeah. since the documentary that, that Sara mentioned there, you know, you you guys that, that uh, came back, obviously our lovely Linda Robson yep. was yep. part of that and Biggins, it sort of sparked a whole debate and a whole conversation. And obviously things have come a long way since then. You can you can buy it in many shops. Yes. And the, there's an argument now for fully legalising cannabis. You, you're probably best qualified to, to talk about what you think about that, taking it to, the, to its full extreme, rather than just a CBD or legalised well, cannabis. Um, what do you think? The plant, is, the plant grows with both, both constituents. Cannabis oil, yes. which is the, the one that helps with health and seizures with kids, all that sort of thing, um, and doesn't give you a high, and THC, yeah. tetrahydrocannabin oil. And that is the one when heated, i.e. smoked or cooked with, gives you a high. But the plant grows in a natural state as people would have probably grown it back in the 60s mm. in a very balanced state. Mm. So even if you smoke it, you're not going to sort of go around stabbing people. Um, what is being produced and sold on streets mm. uh, nowadays, spice and things like that, is, is, ju is just, oh. It's you think they're not the horrendous. same? It's no, the same it's thing. nothing like the same. But I, I think 
what the authorities would have to do is is see what they're doing in other countries yeah. and see where it's working and where it's not mm. working. And I... this, this, the, the debate is still out there, and there's so many opposing um, opinions, aren't they? But the, one of the one of the opposing uh, opinions is that actually. If you start legalising it, then surely you're opening the door to a bigger problem. And problems like, you know, regular cannabis use can increase the risk of developing a psychotic illness such as schizophrenia. What are your counter-arguments? Are they talking about regular use of what is now sold on the streets or what the plant was, in other words, the percentage of THC? Mm. Mm. And I think that's what they're going to have to mm. sit down and talk right. about. In other words... If you go into a dispensary, a, a cannabis shop like we did, mm. um, are, do you know that you're going to get something yeah. which has a limited percentage? And will people balk against that? Will they say, mm, I don't want that. I, can, I know how much I want and I want a higher, it's more stronger. of a high. Yeah. It, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very it's difficult It's a minefield, one. isn't it? Mm. It is. It's mm. difficult. It is.